What's up, Amazons? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty sure that I got my sound microphone issues resolved. Fingers crossed. No, I just did it. Testing, testing, and it worked. So hallelujah. So I'm going to be talking about my favorite beauty products or just products that I have been loving over the past few months. I haven't done a favorites video in a long, long time. So I just wanted to grab a few of the products that I've been using on almost a daily basis and share them with you guys. I have not been filming as much as I used to. Um, for those of you who have been around for a minute, you know that I um, struggle with uh, chronic pain and depression and it has gotten, it's gotten really bad. Um, as far as surgeries and procedures go for my back, I've done everything I can do and something needs to change because I have no quality of life. I work and then work takes more energy than I physically have. So my days off, I'm just sleeping. I can I sleep for days um, and a lot of people don't believe me. And I have also been single for eight years. And it's not a coincidence that um, my back injury happened eight years ago. People just don't understand that anyways. But I am a little hopeful because I'm going to be starting IV ketamine treatment for chronic pain and depression in a few weeks. and. I've heard a lot of really good things. I've talked to some patients and they said it's been life changing. So I really hope it works for me. But, all right, yeah, let's get right into my favorite products for the summer. So I have a couple of hair products that I will start with like always. And the first one is this Dry Bar Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant. So this is a heat activated, uh, heat activated technology wrapped an invisible shield around each hair strand to provide frizz resistance. Leaves a super glossy, silky finish without weighing hair down. Lasts through three washes. Protects from heat. So number one, I love that it is a heat protectant and it honestly, it just makes your hair feel like silk. And I have very fine hair. Yeah, this is not my hair <laughs> and I'm losing a lot of my hair due to my hypothyroidism so I need products that don't weigh my hair down and even though it's smooth and makes it feel so nice it doesn't weigh my hair down so I've really been liking this I don't blow dry my hair that often these days but when I do this is what I've been using so on the other days when I majority of the days I air dry my hair and what I have been using is this R & Co Velvet Curtain Cotton Touch Texture Balm. So touchable texture, this super dry styler adds soft volume, light holes for all hair types. Boasting a modern matte effect, it instantly smooths and envelops strands for a piercy, piercy effortless second day hair look. It's just, it kind of gets rid of all the frizz, it, frizz and gives my hair kind of like a natural wave, but not like a wave where I would just air dry it with no product because that's just a frizzy mess. So yes, I've been liking this. All right, let's get into some makeup. I really, um, I didn't want to grab a lot of products, so I don't have any skincare. I don't believe. No, I don't. Okay, so we're just going to get right into the makeup. But where to begin is the question. Okay, I'm just going to start with the eyes. So, I ordered some more JD Glow Cosmetic Eyeshadows. These eyeshadows are probably the best eyeshadows I've ever used. They 
are such, the colors are so unique, they're so pigmented, they apply beautifully, and they're very long lasting. Um, oh, some of my, oh, my favorite ones, I love this one, Lemon Lime, especially for summer. How pretty that is and then this is another new one I got this is good God from the galaxy collection like look at that oh I don't know how my makeup was shit I'll be right back this one, this is AKA. I'm just obsessed with these. Like, oh, do you see that? I'm gonna show you one more. <clears throat> this is Beats Me. have so many more shadows in my cart on their website <sighs> they're just stunning so for foundation I have been wearing this basically every day and this is the um, Denisha Merrick's yummy skin serum foundation so I tried her other one I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head but I did do a comparison between um, this one and that one. I'll put a link for the video up here. And when I tried that one, I thought that was what, that like blew my mind. And then I tried this one, not thinking it could get any better than the other foundation, but trust me, it did. Because this is an illuminating foundation. It's also a serum foundation but it's so full coverage, but it does not make you look cakey. It doesn't settle in your fine lines. It honestly gives you just the most gorgeous full coverage, but like flawless finish. And I also really love that this is refillable. So you don't have to buy an entire new bottle. I wish more companies would start doing that because foundation ain't cheap. All right, concealer. I've tried a couple new ones. I tried the Jaclyn Hill one. I mean, it was all right, but just not super impressed. But this is one that I have really been liking. And it is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. I got this in Marshmallow. Oh, that's actually the same color that I used in her other concealer so this is a full coverage it's not as full coverage as the other one the overachiever concealer but it's definitely full coverage very creamy easy to blend out and it's just long wearing and I really like it so I've been into a lot of um, cream products lately and I was on the search for the perfect cream bronzer. I tried the Fenty one, it just wasn't the right shade for me. I do like um, my Hoola liquid bronzer, but I wanted a cream. And I got this Anastasia cream bronzer, and this is in Sunkiss, and this is absolutely perfect. It's the perfect shade for me, and it's very easy to apply, and it's not like overpowering, like so intense like a contour. It's like an actual true cream bronzer. So I will use a dense brush. Let me see if I have one here. Let's try this one. 
and what I'll do is I will go in with the cream bronzer first and then I'll go in with a powder bronzer over it. So speaking of powder bronzers, I think I might have actually mentioned this in the last favorites video I did and that was a long time ago so if I'm still using it you know it's a good product and that I am really loving it but it is the Hula Glow bronzer. <sighs> like I just keep reaching for it like it's the perfect shade and it has like a nice sheen to it. It's not sparkly, it's not glittery like it just gives you like a very natural looking bronzer application. I am just so in love with it. Okay, speaking of, um, I actually have a couple uh, benefit products. So they came out with a couple new highlighters and I got the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. So it says a swirl of golden pearl, a swirl of golden pearl. Um, sweep this super fine highlighter along cheek bones for a delicious soft gold glimmer, shimmer. Sorry, I just worked the past three nights, I can't read. But, okay, let me start out by saying, when I think of like amazing highlighters, trust me, Benefit is usually not on the list. But this, stunning. I was and am so impressed. So here is what it looks like. And oh, I love it, number one, it's so pigmented. It's a gorgeous shade and it just goes with so many different looks. Oh, look at that. It is absolutely stunning. And I wanna get the other one they released, which is, um, I think it's called the Tickle Me Highlighter or something like that, Tickle Me Elmo, I don't know. They came out with some new blushes that look very pretty, but I'm trying to uh, not buy so much makeup. All right, more highlighters. So, this is a liquid highlighter that I've been using quite a bit. This is the About Face highlighter in Light Lock. It's just like the most beautiful metallic kind of champagne, I want to say. And it is so intense but so gorgeous. So I will either use this, put this down first, and then go over it with a powder highlighter, or I will also mix this in with some of my matte foundations. Since it's summer, you know, I don't wanna wear like a full matte foundation. So this will, you know, give it a nice glow. And it's just absolutely stunning. All right, the next highlighter, is gorgeous but I think you could live without it just because of the price point but it is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk multi glow beautifying all over glow highlighter and I got it in the shade romance flight so I'm usually not a big fan of like multicolored highlighters and I say that because there's usually like lighter colors and then darker colors, but these are all, you know, fairly light. So I'm able to just swipe it all across and put it on and it's a beautiful shade for me. And just the combination of them, it's so gorgeous. Oh, I don't wanna, cause I have gold highlighter on. So I'm just gonna rub my finger all across So it comes out looking like a pinkish champagne. Oh, 
there's one more uh, Benefit product I forgot. So this is the Benefit uh, Georgia Blush. So most, I usually, most of the time I wear like a pink or a coral blush. But this is a very gorgeous light peach and it's perfect for more natural looks when you just want like a light blush of color. It kind of has a sheen to it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but like I said, it's just a very gorgeous light shimmery peach. Now, <laughs> cream blush. I tried this Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint Blush Stick and this is in Coral Cutie. I couldn't decide between this or the pink one. I really want the pink one too. But this is stunning. I did put this down before putting some blush over top of it. But can we say stunning? And I love that it's kind of like a pinkish coral. Oh my god. It's just so gorgeous. One thing I will say is it is very, very pigmented. So the way I will apply it is I'll take a dense brush and then I'll just kind of dab it on the top and then go in with it. But I really like this blush stick. So, you know, I should have brought my um, Denisha Murex. Uh, twin Flame Liquid Eyes Shadows. I mean, I love them. I love them all, but I have already done a video on them. So I wanted to talk about these. What are they called? Hmm. They are basically their duochrome eyeliner. So this is in Lemon Quartz. So it's kind of like a yellow with a green shift. Really gorgeous. And then <clears throat> this one is in Lilac Quartz. So this is like a purple with a pink shift to it. Oh, I love that one. So I haven't been buying a lot of lip products um, recently just because I, we've been having to wear masks all the time. Um, I'll probably be buying more now that uh, you know they're optional except for at work. But I did get a new Jeffree Star Velour lip, Liquid Lipstick and this is in Sugar Spike. It reminds me of there's two it reminds me of. Um, Rose Matter, which is actually I don't have in my bedroom, and Calabasas. But Sugar Spike is more of like a pinkish purple. I just love the shade. And I feel like it goes with a lot too. But what I have on right now is 818, which is a very bright coral. This is one of my favorite lipsticks for summertime. Like, how stunning is that? And um, 
just I just wanted to talk about this. I've had it for a while. I may have mentioned it in a favorites before, but this is um, the Artist Couture. I don't know what it's um, lipstick, and it's in Angel Baby, and it's just like the most beautiful, almost very close to a perfect nude for me. And I want to say that it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury KKW. But I feel like this is a lot creamier and it lasts longer. If you guys know me, you know I love doing crafts and making things. And I've been obsessed with these. They are like chapstick or I've been using them as lipstick, lip gloss holders that, and it goes on your keychain. So I made myself like <laughs> this eccentric Barbie keychain, but just take a lipstick. Put it in there and it attaches to your face. How cool is this? So these are available on my Etsy site if anyone's interested. All right guys, so those are the products that I've been loving lately. Like I said, there aren't that many, but the products that I have talked about, I truly love and it have been using so much. So, let me know some of your favorites for the summer in the comments below. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time.